We write these songs, we struggle with them, we cry and we pray and we get through it and then we have something really beautiful and we throw it out to you and you do the same thing, you listen, you struggle, you cry, maybe it helps you feel better and then you throw it back at us and you've been doing that for 35 years. So I just want you to know that it does not go unnoticed by we the performers who try very hard every night to do our best to take you away from your life for a minute, just for a moment of bliss, you know. And um, a moment of love. And I thank you for coming to us and always returning the next year. And um, we will be back next year, so. We love you. I'm so sorry I cried all the way through that song, but sometimes, what are you gonna do? It is my pleasure to have stood on this stage and danced and sang for you, as it always was when I was four and is now at 65 years old. So thank you very much, and hopefully we'll walk around the corner and see you again one day soon. Much love, everyone. Be well. We have had a ball! This is one of my daughters, Tessa. And Ruby. And their elder sister over there, Amelia. We truly are so grateful for the fact that having done this chunk of a world tour, I'm gonna to take my hat off. The top of my head is sweating. Um, one of the things that we've noticed as our career and the life of Fleetwood Mac progresses is the incredible luck of the draw, the love between the audience and our band, Fleetwood Mac. And the magic, as we continue, grows. So without you guys and girls, we simply cannot do what we love to do so very much. We are absolutely, eternally grateful. And there would not be a night or an afternoon gone by without the following message from our band to you. Take care of yourselves, and more importantly, in this extremely crazy world we sometimes live in, be kind to one another. We love you so. Mac is back. <laughs>